looking for ways to tighten your skin or strengthen your hair and nails. Well, here with us today is Chicago's healthy living expert, Ashley Pettit. And to tell us what we can put in our bodies to make us look more beautiful. And this is what we all need to know. <laughs> right? Yes, yeah. Okay, well, so tell us about these foods. Sure. So I brought in three different categories. Fermented foods, sulfur-containing foods, and collagen-boosting foods. Okay. And it's just something you should do every day by including little portions of them in your diet. But people don't realize that beauty starts from the inside. Really? This can really help us look more beautiful? I guarantee you. Okay. I've never had an injectable on this 34-year-old face. Really? So okay. Okay. Well, we want more of that. We want to know about this. Okay, so tell us about the first uh, fermented foods of kimchi and krauts. Yes. So I think most people are familiar with probiotic. Yes. It's a catchphrase. It's a catch word. People want to take a pill, but what I'm telling you is, is you can take a pill, but you can also boost it through tasty food. So the raw vegan community is big into fermented foods, but I, I think people like Stephanie Izzard, local famous uh -huh. chef, right, mm -hmm. has it on her menu. Okay. There's a the reason Restaurant's Girl on the Goat and right? Duck Duck Goat. So half a cup of kimchi is going to give you or kraut is going to give you that fermented food probiotic to boost better digestion. Okay, well then I should be beautiful because I've been <laughs> eating kimchi my whole life because I'm Korean and that's like our national food. But let me tell you, this might make you look beautiful, but it will keep the boys away because it gives you terrible breath. <laughs> well, make yes. them eat it too. <laughs> but, I mean, you said it helps with your digestion. It though. does. And digestion, when we back things up in our body, it comes out in our skin, like acne, blemishes, uh -huh. uneven skin, dermatological wow. issues yeah. like rosacea and things like that. So this is just taking things out. Got it. And back in the day, kimchi even killed bird flu. I remember that too. Okay, well, <laughs> sulfur, well, there sulfur go. containing food. So let's yes, move on. So, to that. sulfur, people associate it with stinky water, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here to tell you that sulfur is in certain foods you may just glance over, uh -huh. but sulfur boosts connective tissue in your skin. Oh. So, we all need that base layer of our skin to be connected and be healthy and look beautiful and radiant, right? Will this plump our skin? It will ladies? plump your skin, but it's also going to boost the, it's no brittleness in your nails. Oh, okay. The lustrous locks that everybody wants, it's going to actually help with the thing because it's part of keratin. Keratin oh, hair treatment? Yes. Sulfur's in oh. that. Yes. So, and it's part of a protein, like keratin is a protein. Okay. So what we want here is radishes and watercress. Okay. In your diet, aloe vera juice I put in my morning drink. Oh, nice. And so bee in your pollen. Smoothie. Bee pollen. Which is another thing that most people are not familiar with, but it's a superfood add-on that you can put in salad dressings, in baked goods. It's a little crunchy. The mm. flavor is almost ignorable. You almost don't notice it. <laughs> I like that. Almost ignorable. Perfect. Almost ignorable, right? <laughs> and of course, these boost collagen, and yes. we all know berries are really good for you. Antioxidants. Okay. Again, another key word that we're all familiar with, but we don't recognize that they're fighting free radicals that mm -hmm. can actually attack our skin and damage it with sun damage and different things that we do, aging, wrinkles. Collagen plumps your skin and will get those wrinkles so away. So, we'll have plump lips? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know right. about the lips. We're running out of time. we got to go to the next <laughs> yes. one. Okay. So garlic. So, okay, two cloves a day keeps the facialist away, okay. is what I say. It's an old adage in my house. So, I put it in salad dressings, everything, but really, it's the lipoic acid and content of garlic that is going to boost the skin and it's going to help prevent sun damage as well. And then anything that's red. Okay. Can anything that's red will do what? Anything that's red in produce is going to have lycopene in it, which is also going to boost collagen and reverse sun damage. I say taste the rainbow to all my clients. Mm -hmm. And if you have red every day, you are on the right track. I mean, do you eat it raw or can you have it in pizza or something? To Actually, me <laughs> if you cut a tomato, it boosts the lycopene content by 200%. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much. You know what? To kickstart your beach bodies, you can get Ashley Pettit's brand new nutrition and fitness plan called Fad Free Forever. It's free of fads and quick fixes for for $50 off. Enter the code MARCH99, MARCH99 on AshleyPettitLiving.com 